You know what I just realized that's super funny? Someone took the time to go through roughly 18 months worth of my TikTok content, and that's probably over 1,500 videos easily. I make a lot of content. And they scrolled past at least 100 videos where I talk in detail about public education and my views and my stances on it from talking in front of the school board to addressing school choice and the impacts that that would carry from talking about strengthening relationships between families and educators and bringing them all to the table. All of these things they passed to find a video of me that was about 15 seconds where I was being reactionary and happened to have purple hair because it was COVID and me and my kids thought it'd be fun to do. That's the clip they chose. And it found its way on Twitter. And then it found its way on Fox News. And ironically, if you look past the headline, which unfortunately many people do not, the article puts me in a pretty positive light. It outlines what I actually think about public education and the relationships between families and educators, even has an excerpt from my webpage outlining my public education stance. No matter what your political party is, the question you should be asking yourself right now is why? We're talking about an election that's six months away. We're talking about the fact that we haven't even gotten through primaries in other districts. We're talking about the fact that I, a part-time employee at a front office with no political experience, is running against a two-time Republican incumbent who is a leader, who is the House leader of the caucus. Why would they be so worried about pushing this false narrative that can be disproven by just scrolling on my TikTok for 20 minutes? I mean, there's countless evidence of what I actually believe when it comes to public education. I think the answer is pretty clear. They know I'm going to win. Yeah, I mean, Fox News in May for November election. That tells me people are paying attention and they're very nervous. And so feel free because, you know, every aspect of this needs financial backing. Here's the deal. The people on here who have been watching me for months, if not years, know who I am. They know what I stand for, as well as the people in my community, at the school, the families, my running community, both from here to New Kent, every door that I knock, they're going to know who I am. And those people, not the internet trolls, not the comments under this Fox News article, those people are the ones casting the vote. So...